So I have this one to be in here. So what I will do is I have uh, the uh, the Excel sheet in here. In this Excel sheet, I will uh, connect or I will put down all the data already been done. Uh, and this Excel sheet, uh, this uh, I will take it as Excel sheet in here. And then what I will do is I will, this, this, this Excel sheet, I need to, uh, format it. I need to format the sheet. After the format, I need to actually um, use a cloud uh, environment environment over cloud and uh, for this I am using OneDrive to basic to begin with later on what I will do is I will take that and I will use a certain templates, mostly canvas apps. And in that, I will actually embed the data. After I do it, I will build build the app and then once I do it, I will Share it and in uh, mobile devices. This much I will do for tonight. So this will be the schematics. So I'm saving it. I'm putting a bit in here. Schematics. So let's uh, get onto it. So now I have this uh, Power Apps attendee list. As you can see, we have 32 signups. And uh, um, this is the uh, their first name, last name, quantity, ticket type, payment status, and order number. Power Apps, uh, if working with Excel, always loves to have a header file. If there's no header file, Power Apps will not work. Like same as in Power BI, it always takes the first row as the header. If this first row is not header, the data type will not match or the data type will not work properly. So uh, I need to give them a header. So I select it all. And then I use this, the my part, and I simply press OK, and I get the header type. And notice it, it is asking, it is asking me the table name. So I give the table name as AI, AIAD, that is app in a day. That was the basic theme for this. Um, and then I simply press enter and my table name is saved. I look also that in this Power Apps, we do not need to give the sheet uh, name like we need, need specifically for SQL Server when we import the data from it. So that much we do and uh, we simply save it 
uh, save the changes. Yes, I'm going to save changes. So it is in the desktop in here. Now, once I have uh, the Power Apps, or I can simply write apps.powerapps.com, or I write powerapps.com. I, if I press in sign in, since I'm already signed in using my uh, logins, it will direct me to the web web part of the web part of the Power Apps. The web part where is actually everything gets started. Now, if you have the Microsoft uh, uh, license or if you, if you have the Microsoft uh, uh, Pro license uh, with you or uh, the Office 365 license with you or the subscription, so you can check it out that you can download the Power Apps from here. So if you click on, you can get the you can get the uh, Power Apps from the Windows Store, which is this one. You can simply search on Power Apps, and you can get it from there as well. So this is uh, this is a thing. Second. Uh, this one is, which is basically this part, is the environment. You can change your own environment, or you can or you can make your custom environment. So how to do that? Simply, if you go to uh, admin.powerapps.com. So in the admin portal, you have the leverage to create your own environment. So I will create my new environment, and the environment name will be AIAD. Uh, and the region is very important. Some people feel that, oh, we need to give US because America is the biggest country and America first will give America. But no, the region, EMEA or uh, Pacific or America or uh, India or whatever, is very important because it's the a cloud or it's the uh, place where you are going to publish. And that needs to be get integrated with your app designing. And the data sources are depending upon it. So. It is very important. My is trial version, so I will create this environment. Okay. Okay, all right. So what I need to do, I need to delete any one of it. Or, all right, so I will, okay, so I, I, I will be limited by the uh, policy because of my subscription. So I will take this ocean pollution as my um, default uh, part of the environment. So uh, now if I go to the uh, uh, this one, the web space of it, I have um, this particular layout where I can get any new application, open any application, account, connections, and flows. So I will take the uh, new part to design any of the power apps. This dropping is something or what? Okay, what is it? Okay, so I, I come to home and once I am in here, I can change the environment to my ocean pollution, simple. And now what uh, I need to do, I need to go to this apps in here. And once I clip, uh, click on this apps, it will ask me, to create an app. So once I click on this, you can see a canvas and model driven app. Canvas app is basically a blank app or uh, basically the data integration or data integration model app. But model driven is basically CDN or CDS for the real time business app. Power BI is that uh, 
if we want to import the data from Excel or if you want to add a live connection or uh, direct query from the SQL. If we use Excel first, then the X velocity or that um, that particular the memory engine or query engine needs to be highly robust with the RAM <coughs> uh, so that it can uh, understand or it can take up the data. Uh, the limitation is uh, 10, uh, 1 GB for uh, free, 10 GB for pro, and premium versions for higher, plus not many nuances. But if you have a SQL server, you can directly connect with it, uh, put in Power BI, and just see the data result. You can't even model or can even change the model because all the primary keys and unique keys are getting cached up inside. So, same thing in happening here. If you have the Canvas apps, it's a blank app. Uh, you simply uh, pass the data. But if it is, uh, you have something custom built available or if a common data service available, you can use the model data now. Yeah, we can do that. We can, we can change the environment based upon our request. I have been bugged because of, I think my license is there, there that's why they really want to give me the environment. But each environment has each new entities, each new specifications, each new uh, application. Yeah. And what are the access costs? Like on the sales force, or if you some sales, some sales force, maybe uh, can you produce some comments? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we do have a sales force. Uh, we do have a sales force. Uh, so, if suppose um, we go to, uh, okay, so if suppose I put the Canvas apps, so it will directly take me to the data sources. And once it gives me the Canvas, the Salesforce is right at here. So it's in the phone layout. So, and it's in the premium version. So if you pay the money and pay the account and you can phone layout, it will, it will patch up with the Salesforce account. It will ask you the authentication. Similarly, they have the common data service for, uh, for um, I think, uh, other type of uh, data resources, uh, which is there. But uh, uh, also, also, you have the SharePoint, uh, if you have the SharePoint designer is available at your premises. So for me, I will use uh, the OneDrive as my part. And notice there are also two things that in here, with this data sources, the two part, either it is a blank app or it's an app template. Same sources, either you want a blank canvas app or you want to use a ex existing templates. And in that, you have the phone and tablet layout, both the layouts you want to go for. So I have the data resources and I have the uh, choices, either blank or template. So like I said, I will use very basic. So I will use the Excel as my uh, blank canvas app. So I will take the uh, uh, this part. Now, OneDrive for business is different than the OneDrive, which is available uh, with us. So if I have uh, OneDrive, so I can simply take the OneDrive in here and I create it. It will ask me the authentication from uh, the password and thank you, Lord. It let me to sign. <laughs> now, um, what I'll do is I will, uh, I will uh, now uh, this is my environment. So what I will do is, first of all, I need to, I need to open my OneDrive, and I delete my previous uh, Power Attendees. And in here, what I will do is, I have the Power Attendees list in here. I'll simply put this in the this part. And once I do it, I have uh, the refresh availability in here and the power attendees list is given in here. Once I click into it, it will give me the table name. That is AIAD, which I've already done it. 
Now, the reasons for which I have asked you, uh, which I no, not asked, I, I, I told you that it loves the header files can be seen now. So when I, when I uh, do this, it will uh, show me the connect as a uh, purple version. And once I connect it, you can see that this particular, I take the print screen and let me go to the MS, uh, MS Paint. All right. Okay. It didn't, it didn't let me or allowed me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, okay. Um, the, the thing which you saw actually, it is going in this way, is because um, the, the three things, the data source, the cloud, and the data. The all, um, all uh, the data is actually coming up into here. All the uh, uh, cars or all, all the creation is coming up into this. Or, uh, and uh, the cloud services which, with which it's getting patched up is coming up into here. That is why it is going into this, it's coming into here, and it's coming into here. That is where the inter that is the interface for it, and this is the control action so where we can take control. Of it. Okay. So now, once we have the available in here, um, we can see that the browse screen is uh, one part, and the browse gallery for each of this particular uh, cards are for it. And as soon as I click on this browse gallery, uh, this one gets activated. This one gets activated. So if I uh, if I click on this browse gallery, I can uh, see whether my source has been given or not. So I can check it through this. And this is my data source from where is actually getting connected. And in here, I can check the layout for the different type of layouts I want to go for. I want to go for this. And as if I do it, it will change automatically. Or if I want to come back to the previous one, it will change back to the automatically. That is the part. And these are the different card or different uh, forms we have available. So I want to, uh, now the beauty is that the first one is the last one. The first one is the last one. And the last one is the first one. So if I take the first one, I want to take the first name is fine. But the uh, the second one, I want to give the order, uh, order, order. I want to give the, um, take it type. And the third one, I want to give the order number. It's fine, uh, this thing. And um, now, uh, my this uh, particular form is there. What I want to do is that uh, I'll take one particular scenario, uh, one this particular this card, and in that you can see this that Aman is the Aman is the first name. Whereas if I open my OneDrive and if I search for and if I search for Amon, it's this one. And Heyman Baloch is given in here. So the Baloch last name is missing. So what I can do in here is that I want to put the last name in here. So how can I do that? So simple, I can simply come up in here. This item dot first in this name, we can simply write, um, Ambersent and uh, giving the space uh, between the first name and last name. And again, we're adding the this item dot my last name. And I do that and I get all the last names in here. So uh, uh, once I get all the last name, if I want to check my particular front end app, the in Power Apps, we have this play button is the 
uh, yes uh, is the run type of application. So I put this in here and I can get my apps all done in here. Now I want to use this navigation. So I click this navigation. I have all these uh, things are laid out in here. And this looks a particular shabby. And I uh, never loved it or I, I didn't like it at all. So what I want to do, I want to change it. Now I cannot change up in here. I need to again go back to my previous app designing. So I click on in here and this will be an existing part. So each set of each set of I mean like we have the uh, card uh, system or we play the cards. Same thing in here. Each different cards, each different setups, and everything is underneath of it. Then cards, everything is underneath of it. Then cards, everything is underneath. Of it. So like that, it gets stacked up. So now, if I uh, click this, I can simply see the detail form, and this completely gets highlighted in here. Now, uh, it's quite of ugly. So what I will do is that I have this particular layouts are available. Say I don't want the quantity. I, I mean, one one guy. I, I don't want to show as a one guy. Uh, so I just simply missed it out. So the quantity is gone. And similarly, uh, I want to change the first name. Now here is the part. If I take this one particular card or one particular this set, there is an unblock. There is an unblock or locked system is available here. What happens is this is not because the power apps developers or the, or the uh, people who have designed it, they don't want us to change it because uh, I want to change it. And like I said, that lot of updation happens in this particular part of this part. They uh, pre prefer that uh, this uh, thing should be locked and should not be uh, open. But it is up to us, uh, up to the developers who can make it customized. So how can we customize? We simply uh, use uh, the press and it gets unlocked. That's the best part of it. And like that, we have available. And then we need to change the first name. Now notice, in Power Apps, we need to do whatever is in between of these two curly braces. What if I don't? OK, so let's just delete it. And I delete this one as well. And I put first name. And you can see a red, a red cross is comes up in here and is giving us the warning error. Because why is important this curly braces? Because like in loop, uh, whatever the if command or else command is going on in the background, that command is running under this uh, curly braces, and the data source is matching up with the with the header files, which is this one. So, um, so I uh, I I have to write uh, the first name in here, and the second and the, the calibrus is in here, and I I do it, my things back to normal. So similarly, I take the last name and I change it as a last name as well. This has the, uh, the power as power apps have this kind of nuances, and we have to deal it because there is no other way, and that is what uh, uh, it takes a little bit of more of time for this, and uh, like we have uh, uh, change out the names and change out the columns we want to go for. Now um, uh, we want to see that, uh, or my uh, manager or someone says that, look, you know what? I don't want a single column. I want in uh, different columns. So I want. So so what I can do? I can simply snap the columns and put it in, in two. So it becomes two different columns. And my manager says that you know what, Sam? I want this order to be complete one single. So I simply stretched it. And. Uh, then they want to say, oh, you know what? Um, I don't want, uh, no, nobody will change it. So I simply uncheck this snap to columns. It will be remain like this forever. Yeah. 
it's uh, it is excel and the same thing happening in power apps that's the beauty of it so this is the part now i again run this application and i uh, get it in here now suppose i want to edit this and i get this kind of form pre-built application and in here i can again change this one how can i go i simply click on this and i have an edit screen is right available in here which is the edit form in here in here i can check or i can write the uh, different categories i can write this i have this uh, leverage and similarly uh, i can unlock this and i can write the name first name like this and the last name like this the best part is that whenever you click on the blank part of this it automatically gets locked so for example if i go back here uh, you can see that it's now unlocked it means i have changed the things it shows that i've changed i've changed that particular this thing but if i go to the new part this unlocked so if you make a change you cannot again relock it because already have edited that particular form and like this it uh, goes like this and uh, if i click on this edit form i can uh, do it uh, like this way now i run this application it comes up in here and um, i uh, i want uh, what i want is i want to go back to the first part so now this all good looks good in here so i press this i go back and i have this one now i want to uh, i want to make a name i want to make a name of this app uh, uh, the, the ai id is fine but i want to give a, a full text in here so what i can do i can take this and i can grab i can grab it or i simply touched it down up to here and i can insert any label and in this label i write in it in it in here and i write an app a day what i can do is i can also change the color i can change the color from here from the updation part i can change the color to uh, green i love the green so i can do that and now once i do that the changes are available in here so i want to make it in middle so now either i can do a tab or a simple space bar can help so that much i can uh, make it to look in the first part of it now all these things are available in a default basis how if i check it in here you can say you can see this that this is sorted by columns but i want to sort it by the order number that who has done the first and then who came up the next so i can simply uh, take that uh, uh, the first name it is it is actually it is actually sorting at sorting the application using the first name basis i can take up as the with the help of the order and i can take the simple as the number so if i take take it and if i run it you can see that the completely scenario has been changed and it is the order number now it is sorting same thing if i want to check it by the order type you can go by the order type so this is the uh, beauty part of it mm. also uh, if i now run it i can get it like this way and if i want to edit it can it is like this way so now we actually um, we actually want to save this app and in here uh, in here we want to save it so before we save it we have to go to the app settings in that we use um, any kind of uh, name such as uh, ai ad app and once we do it let me just make it sound a little bit and once we do it we can take any icon in here and we can give any color such as gold 
and we can uh, we can write a description such as app in a day to uh, let know others about this procedure also is a screen size and orientation where we have this kind of mobile applications given here and um, uh, that's it and if we save it uh, the cloud or this computer is getting asked so i prefer in cloud so i uh, save this one and it's getting safe into the power apps cloud uh, services now once it gets saved is it will ask me for the share this application so i will simply uh, press on share and once i do it it will pull me back from where actually i began and it will ask me the person you want to share so i have sam as my uh, dear friend and i share with him and as soon as i as i share it is updating my permissions and it will give me notification in here so once i have this notification in here uh, what i can do i'm sorry Into password. I'm um, sorry, I have to disconnect. There are so many of nuances in here, and that is actually the little bit uh, new for this application. Uh, Yeah, uh, that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I will use the Wi-Fi system. Maybe Wi-Fi system can work. Okay. So, yes.
Why now? Because the whole whole evening I was I configured it. It was working so much fine. It's dumping me now. Yeah. So uh, now, if I if I press and now, it will be giving me this uh, empty, right? Now the beauty is, yeah, I found it. <laughs> Can you believe that? Thank you, yes, sir. <laughs> so this is the available in here. Now I will uh, go for this particular one. I want to uh, make an edit uh, with my application. I want to say that um, you know I want to uh, give my permission uh, as given by this. I put eleven. Eleven for Mark Mark Martina for the Martina. So if I do it for eleven and I press on yes. You can see these blue dots are going up in here. It will be automatically update to my uh, cloud into the one drive itself. As uh, since it's in box, it's it's attached under the cloud, but it's actually it was updated. What? What it actually happens is this: uh, once you give a, a, a updation, that one comes back to your uh, one drive in uh, into this part, which is uh, in here. It automatically gets gets changed for the Martena. Uh, okay, this one. Yeah, this one gets changed automatically into the. Uh, cloud services in here. That's a feature part. So that one it uh, does. Yeah, it does have it. But that's why this is keep giving me the purple that uh, the cannot cannot get read into the main application. Server response cannot write file to the file source. File is being locked. Uh, let me check. I think uh, it's been given. All rights are given. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, but but then I've patched it with the new one. Yeah. So this one we can do. Um, and second one is that we can use the Power BI reports into it. Uh, what we can do is in the Power BI reports is uh, is again going back. So this this is basically the first part of the application where we can update and change it as per we, our demand. So you 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 organize some event, you check the number of people are available, you make in the Power Apps into the OneDrive, and you simply uh, add the number of tickets they want to come. And it gets automatically changed into your this thing. You do not need a person to sit in down. Okay, who is coming? Who is not coming? Like that, you can do. Um, also, if suppose you have a uh, Power BI, I have uh, Power BI report in here, and I have uh, designed uh, basically health app. So if I go to my workspace and if I put in health app, so I have this health app in here, and I've. Pre-created these dashboards. 
available in here. Now, I want to integrate this dashboards into Power Apps. So, if suppose I uh, go to uh, Power Apps, I go to Home screen, and the same thing, I go to Apps, and I create an Apps from Canvas. And it will ask me for the resource, which I will simply say that I want to, and this time, since my resource is Power BI Gateway, so I'll simply use the phone layout or a blank app from the from this thing. Uh, this time, I, I will not use any uh, cloud server because my Power BI is already getting inside of it. So it will give me it will give me a pretty dull look in here, and you can see that it has nothing is connected in here. But what we can do, we can take the insert connection in here and this control function is given or tab is given in here. So I will take these controls and I will use the Power BI tile is given in here. So I will use the Power BI tile and once I use it, it will ask me this particular parts. So like this, I can add the new, new blank screen and uh, I can use again the same functionality with the Power BI tile and it will ask me here. So what I can do in this, but in this I can take uh, the button and I can put this button is available in all in here. So I can, I can change the color. Now in the, in the color, either I can change from here, which is uh, this one, or I can change the color, basically uh, the color, the color from uh, color, and and I can use the color by uh, color value this item that command. But I were rather wasting so much of time. I can simply use what is whatever is available with us. So I use the button. Same thing available in here, and in that I take. I, I can customize this button. I can put a name that uh, mm, uh, dashboard, dashboard, all right. What happened to this? Okay, all right, no problem. Uh, Dashboard one, or I can say the dash just uh, dashboard. And now I want to integrate this Power BI tile in here. So, how can I do it? Once I come to this part or to this part, it will ask me the data uh, resources. So uh, in that in that section, what I need to do is I need to ask. They'll ask me me for the no data. So in that, what I will do is I will ask. They will, it, will, it will ask me the workspace, and the workspace is the health app. The dashboard it will be the health app that is the dashboard I have available in here, which is this one, and. Uh, and the tile, I will go for the breakfast. And as I do it, the Power BI uh, dashboard is available in here. And same thing, if I go for it, it's asking me no data. So I will go for the health app. I'll go for the health app. And this time, I'll go for the dinner. And this one is will be given up this particular visualization for me. And notice, that if I start from here, it will automatically, uh, it will not automatically come in unless I make uh, this particular uh, screen or button with uh, with an automation. 
On select, yeah. On second, second screen, yeah. Uh, I think the text one, uh, if I write a text, or I can put a label. And if I do this label, uh, that will not give me none. That, that, that will not give me anything useful. So if I put this, uh, anyways, that was the part. And um, uh, like if I click, I can put the power the report simultaneously to each, uh, each of the different screens, alter screens. So this much uh, was the part, and 